Yo 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 so you see over in America, you know, they've got like so many different flavors of Fanta. So many different like things in fast food restaurants. There's so many different kinds of restaurants that you can go to as well. Like here in the UK, yeah, we have your standard boss man chicken shops that you find on like every street corner. We have McDonald's, Burger King, Nando's. Nando's is top tier and that is only in this country, I believe. And Portugal, I think. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, we got Domino's, you know, your standard shit. And I want to find out what other countries got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's 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 stop the talking. Let's get into it. From an electric heated carpet to a crazy and efficient keyboard, sometimes it seems like other countries get all the cool oh, stuff. So, it's not just so about I've compiled food. a right. list of the top 20 weirdest products you need from other countries. And by the way, if my eyes look red, it's because it's hay fever. The hay fever's come early this year, man. Like my eyes are itching like mad. And I'm also allergic to dogs and I got two of them. It's whatever. Number 20, condiment tubes in Scandinavia. In Scandinavian countries that? like Sweden, a wide variety of foods come in toothpaste-like tubes. Mustard and mayo are two examples of things I'm used to seeing in bottles. I mean, that's kind of normal. You can even get several kinds of cheese and bubble gum in a tube. As what? it turns out, the Scandinavians have the right idea. Because the product is squeezed out, very little air gets into the tube, making the food stay fresh for longer. This leads to less waste and less of that dried mustard crust on the outside of the bottle. Yeah, but wouldn't that make it like more processed, do you know what I mean? Because everything's just going to be turned into a, a liquid in a tube. However, I'm not sure I'd want to eat all the things they put in tubes in Sweden. They can keep that anchovy cream. It sounds Ooh, a little fishy oh. to me. Number 19, funky drink flavors. Japan has an interesting selection of sodas so I'd like America. to try, particularly Pepsi varieties. A few years ago, they introduced a salty watermelon Pepsi, Ew. which would sound like an expensive cocktail if it wasn't for the Pepsi part. Just the name makes my mouth water. The soda Salt. giant also thought Japanese consumers might enjoy ice cucumber Pepsi, introduced Ew. in 2007. It's definitely one I'd like my taste buds to experience. No. Keep that away from me, fam. Keep that away. I don't want none of that. Then in 2011, they released Pepsi Pink, a strawberry and milk flavored beverage, which I'm guessing would taste glorious. Yeah. A little like a carbonated strawberry milkshake. Another popular variety in Japan is Pepsi White, which apparently tastes like yogurt. Now that's something I've got to taste. Number 18. Why would you want to taste that? Japanese vending machines. Sodas aside, Japan is known for the wide variety of other products you can purchase in vending machines. Called Jito Han Baiki, these vending machines offer everything from eggs to hamburgers to beer. Forgot your necktie and need to get to a meeting? Just grab a new one from a vending machine. They even sell a barely legal mix of dapao herbs that promise a few hours of interesting experiences. I mean, that's kind of lit, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I wouldn't mind trying Place that. Them on any of our products. But like, Stay away from yo, these the machines, though. Machines One woman died ties. after smoking a batch in 2012. Number 17. Candy. Here are two popular candies you can't get in America, but they taste absolutely delicious. First up, guayabitas, which are chocolates filled with guava jelly and happiness from Ooh, Costa Rica. Yeah. Apparently they're sweet with a little sugar crunch. But if you'd prefer the chewy sensation, you should try Percy Pig gummies from the UK. These are TT. I used to have these as a kid. I used to have these as a kid out every, every week. Because... They sell them in Marks and Spencers. Yeah, you see that at the top left. They sell it in Marks and Spencers. And that is where my auntie shops. I don't. Uh, my family don't shop there. Um, you can only buy them there. And she used to buy me a pack. 
of them. You can also get a pack of Percy Pig and Friends, and it comes with the pigs, the sheep. The, the, the sheep taste like orange, the pigs taste strawberry, and the cows, they taste a cola. Best, they are dank, I'm telling you. If next, year, next time you're in Marks and Spencer's, buy a pack. Oh my god. They're seriously one of the tastiest things I've Bank. ever eaten. Number 16, Clever Ironing Board. When I'm short on space, I often solve my problem by kicking everything under the bed. A South Korean inventor had a better idea, an ironing board that folds up and hangs on the wall. But it's not awkward because the bottom of the ironing board is actually a mirror. Users can iron their clothes, then see how they look. Good idea. Number 15, Clever Bench. South Korea is also home to the rolling bench. No, Always it Asia with a good idea, isn't like it? A bed. The bench itself is made of wooden slats on a cylinder that turns with a crank. If it rains, you simply turn the crank and roll away the wet side, exposing the dry surface. Now if only I could get a floor that did that every time I spill something. Number 14, Amazing Cake Cutter. Cake is a big deal in Finland, but the Finnish people don't have to deal with cutting a piece of cake then struggling to get it on a plate before it falls apart. The Magiso cake server is curved, and even though it's closed on both ends, it acts like tweezers so you can squeeze the slice of cake as you remove it. It also cuts a piece of variable sizes, perfect for when you're on a diet, so you only want a little piece. I mean, I'm not really cake, so it Champagne me, flavored man. stuff. I like to live a champagne lifestyle on a beer oh, budget. Mind. That's why I have to move to Denmark where they sell champagne soda. Even better, you don't have to be 21 to buy it. The bad news is, is there's not alcohol. actually any alcohol in it. And what if you're in the mood for a frozen treat? Champagne and chocolate flavored popsicles are also common. Denmark may have just the right amount of luxury for my budget. Number 12, whiskey flavored condoms. For a slightly Which inbred brother is going to wear one of these? Not me. <laughs> who, in the, who in their right state of mind would wear a fucking whiskey flavoured condom? Just wear a normal thing, do you know what I mean? I don't see the point in why you'd wear a condom and then get ahead at the same time. Because... They're just sucking rubber. You know what I mean? And obviously if you're if you're not, you know, you have if you're beating them as well, they're gonna but this, say if they complain that oh they don't wanna, you know, have their lips around your yeah. Um then they're just so they got their lips around the the thing that went inside of her. It don't make sense. A more sophisticated and adult gift, go to Scotland, land of Scotch whiskey flavored condoms. They're called Mick condoms, even though they have nothing to do with the place that sells burgers and fries. Come to think of it, that would make a great prize to put in an adult Happy Meal. Number 11, no. Utes. I've heard of the Mini Cooper, but what about the Mini Pickup Truck? In Australia, these are known as Utes. Much smaller than the typical truck, they're similar to an El Camino which fell out of popularity in America decades ago. They remain trendy in Australia and eventually evolved to have a pickup style rear. Often this has a cover, so it operates like a trunk. Some utes have even popped up in America thanks to a Colorado company that pitches them as modern El Caminos. Some critics call them the mullet of the automobile world, but fans love the design and the size of the cute ute. Number 10, Mosquito Oil. One thing I don't find cute, mosquitoes. Neither do people in Spain, where they have a handy plug-in mosquito oil device. With pralithin, an ingredient that keeps a room free of bugs, it's like a nightlight to drive away those flying That's monsters. That's a good motherfucking Number idea, nine, holy shit. Heated carpet. My bedroom would also be more comfortable with this electric heated carpet available in Japan. No need to step on a cold floor. It's made by Panasonic and the temperature can be adjusted up to 114 degrees. Not Ross. only is it stain resistant, it's also waterproof. Number 8. Home Dry Cleaning Machine I can't tell you how many times I've wished I had a dry cleaning machine at home. Usually right after I spill something on a dry clean only shirt. In Japan, my clumsiness would be easier to deal with because they have the Aqua Home dry cleaning machine. It's front loading and uses bacteria killing chemicals to clean your clothes. So despite the ironic name of Aqua, there's no water required to use the machine. Number 7. 
futuristic door. This Japanese door looks like something you'd see on Star Trek. An automatic door that doesn't just slide out of the way, but opens just enough for your size and shape to get through. Designed by That's Tanaka Seisakuso, the door is made up of strips and uses infrared sensors to determine the size and shape of the person, animal, or object about to pass through. The door also has a security feature that identifies people and can refuse to open for those not on the owner's list. Aside from keeping out people you don't want to deal with, the door also reduces the amount of pesky things like pollen, bugs, and dirt that can Ooh. get in through ordinary doors. Long Number day today, six, fam. chestnut paste. If you love Long Nutella, day, get ready for the French oh. version. Ch chestnut. Oh. Nutella has a special place in my heart. Ooh. What is this though? Vanilla chestnut spread. Why? This sounds nice. Paste. Called Crimes de Marin del Aradeci, it's been popular in France since the late 1800s. The paste is made from steamed chestnuts, chestnut flakes, sugar, and vanilla. Like the hazelnut spread known as Nutella, it can be spread on toast. Nutella. Not Nutella. Nutella. Or crepes, since this is France. It's also sometimes used crepes. as a topping for ice cream or spread between layers of cake. While it does have a delicious taste on your tongue, unfortunately, its name doesn't quite roll off the tongue like Nutella does. All right, man. Sorry for the uh, cut. I had somebody outside my room and uh, making lots of noise. But let's get back into it. Unfortunately, its name doesn't quite roll off the tongue like Nutella does. Number five. Funky chip flavors. I thought American Yo. potato chip flavors were getting ridiculous with Lay's encouraging consumers to submit new flavors like chicken and waffles, Ew. but apparently they've got nothing on British potato chips. Walker's makes a cheddar cheese and bacon chip as well as a sweet chili chicken flavor and Builder's breakfast. The Builder's breakfast crisps are dank. They haven't been out for years yet. They are so nice flavor which apparently tastes like a full english breakfast wait does that good. logo look familiar to anyone else if so it's because lays bought walkers and rebranded it in 1989 they decided to keep the old name to ensure brand loyalty in the uk but that didn't stop them from sending some of their famously crazy flavors over i've had all of these uh i remember the chili and chocolate was disgusting fish and chips was dirt and the Cajun squirrel was just like, it just tasted like chili, like the chili chicken. Overseas. Meanwhile, Yorkshire Crisp offers Chardonnay wine vinegar chips because that just sounds so much more sophisticated than salt and vinegar, like we call them on this side of the pond. Even though it's just I'm the not same sure chip. I'm suave enough to eat those, but I'll definitely be avoiding the haggis and black pepper flavor from Mackey's. Ew. Number four, toilet sinks. I have to applaud Japan for a few more amazing products, starting with their toilet technology. Japanese toilets are known for having lots of buttons, and this one even features a bidet that plays music to drown out the sound of the user taking care of business. There's also <laughs> this amazing sink-toilet combo where the sink is built on top of the toilet and the wastewater flows down and collects in the cistern. When you then flush the toilet, that's the water you use to wash your hands is recycled into the toilet for your next flush. Now that's smart. Number three, that is smart. smart trains. Japan is also known for its fast, efficient, and comfortable bullet trains, which we really need. Some even have onboard spas to help people relax during their trip. In 2014, JR East launched the- I've always loved sci-fi. And the idea of being right on the edge of discovery. The first bullet train with two foot spas, each of which seats four people. Travelers are allowed to soak their toes for 15 minutes per trip. Number two, street crossings. This is another thing that Japanese have figured out pretty well. At home, we can usually only cross from one street to another. What kind of special another. street crossing so is this? we need to get across to another street diagonally, we need to cross two streets. In Japan, though, they have diagonal street crossings to make it all so much more efficient. The That's like London, though. That's what they have in London. Uh, uh, oh, the, you know the main bit with a night town? They have that there. The most famous one is the Shibuya Crossing, which is Tokyo's most iconic intersection. And you can see why they need it, because it gets bombarded by thousands of people every day. Number one, Crazy Keyboard. And the first prize goes, once again, Japan. to Japan for this drum set. Wait, 
What is that again? No, it's not a drum set, it's a keyboard. This is a bit complicated and was developed by the Google Japanese input development team in an attempt to make the keyboard more efficient. Although not currently widespread, the keyboard may be helpful if you type in Japanese. According to Japanese reports, banging on these sets of keys in a pattern is so much simpler than using the standard QWERTY keyboard. The keyboard uses characters in the Japanese language that can be entered with a single keystroke, so instead of having to press conversion keys all the time, characters can be inputted much faster. It also supports emoticons, so you can easily express your feelings with a single shot. And to save you from stretching to hit the keys, they use a set of drumsticks to hit the keys. But forget that, where do I find the delete key on this thing? Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. So if you stumble upon a Japanese office of drummers, they're likely just using the computer. The team explains that they plan to start selling these things directly as soon as possible. Which product would you most like to have? I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna wanna be buying none of that fucking uh, keyboard shit. Like, I'm happy with what I got right now. It's a standard QWERTY keyboard, we're good. <laughs> if you liked the video, leave a like, smash the subscribe button, share, leave down in the comments below if you want to see me react to any specific kind of video you want me to, I'll get that done for you in no time. Anyway, stay tuned for more, it's been your boy Yo Jord, and take care.